न्यूयॉर्क में 22 जून को सिटी काउंसिल के इलेक्शन होने जा रहे हैं इन इलेक्शन में बड़ी तादाद में उम्मीदवार मैदान में उतरे हैं इन उम्मीदवारों में एक उम्मीदवार एडवन रेमोंड हैं एडवन रेमोंड न्यूयॉर्क सिटी काउंसिल के डिस्ट्रिक्ट फोर्टी से सिटी काउंसिल का इलेक्शन लड़ने जा रहे हैं और ये वो डिस्ट्रिक्ट है जिसमें पाकिस्तानी अमेरिकन कम्यूनिटी की एक बड़ी तादाद आबाद है एडवन रेमोंड न्यूयॉर्क पुलिस डिपार्टमेंट के एक हाजिर सर्विस लुटेंट हैं लेकिन इनकी ज़िंदगी की कहानी एक बड़ी दिलचस्प कहानी है ये बचपन में तीन साल की उम्र में इनकी वालदा फौत होगी और छः साल की उम्र में इनके वालद अपनी सेहत की बना पर काम काज करने के काबल ना रहे सो छः साल से लेकर बारह साल तक इन्होंने बड़ी कसम कुर्सी में अपनी ज़िंदगी गुजारी और बारह साल की उम्र में इन्हें एक फ़लस्तनी अमेरिकन फैमिली ने अपने स्टोर पर जॉब दी मैं इस वक्त उस स्टोर के सामने मौजूद हूँ इस स्टोर में 12 साल की उम्र में एडवन रेमोंड ने अपने रोज़गार का सिलसिला शुरू किया और ना सिर्फ अपना बल्कि अपने भाई का और अपने वालद का सहारा भी बने और एक तवील स्ट्रगल करने के बाद वो कॉलेज ग्रेजुएट हुए न्यूयॉर्क पुलिस डिपार्टमेंट जॉइन किया और तेरह साल न्यूयॉर्क पुलिस डिपार्टमेंट में सर्व कर रहे हैं और अब इन इलेक्शन में वो सिटी काउंसिल के उम्मीदवार हैं और अगर वो ये इलेक्शन जीत जाते हैं तो वो फिर पुलिस सर्विस से रिज़ाइन कर देंगे और उसके बाद आ, अपना एक पॉलिटिकल कैरियर और पब्लिक सर्विस कैरियर का वो आगाज़ करेंगे आज हम खसूस तौर पर एक दिल इस दिलचस्प स्टोरी के लिए मौजूद हैं उस स्टोर के सामने जहाँ पर एक सिया फाम अमेरिकन जो कि एक इमिग्रेंट हैं हेशियन हेटी से आई हुई फैमिली के एक फर्स्ट जनरेशन इमिग्रेंट थे उनकी स्टोरी जानने के लिए इस में मौजूद है एडवन रेमोंड आज हमारे साथ मौजूद हैं आइए हम एडवन रेमोंड की जुबानी उसकी जिंदगी की कहानी सुनते हैं At three years old, unfortunately, my mother died from cancer, and my dad really struggled uh, after he had to bury my mom. Uh, at age six, when I became six years old, my father stopped working, and um, he actually sent my brother and I to Florida to live with his brother because it was very hard for him. After two years, I came back to Brooklyn, and my dad still wasn't working, so it was a very rough life. Uh, we didn't have any money. We would eat at school. And on the weekends, we would starve because there wouldn't be any food. We have to wait for school so we can eat again. When I became 12 years old, I finally I got a job here, and it, and it saved my life. So at 12, this、uh, Palestinian family hired me, and my responsibility was to distribute these flyers throughout the neighborhood to let the people know what's on sale. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Doing my job. <laughs>、um, so this is Junior. This is uh, he's like a brother to me. Like I said, uh, his him and his family they gave me an opportunity by giving me a job here when I was 12 years old. Ah、uh, yes. Ah,、uh, good afternoon. My name is Junior. I'm one of the Sea Town members that um we started here in May of 1998. Ah.、Uh, A couple of months later, that you know, we had met Edwin Raymond, came through around the store, tried to help out, and you know, to make an honest dollar. So we, you know, we you know gave him the opportunity, you know, to work with us and help us because back then, we started me and my other three brothers, we knew in this kind of business, and、um, we needed the help. So me and Edwin, we started giving out those, you know, flyers weekly every Saturday. We spent three, four hours in the streets giving out the flyers for the people to know what's on special that started for that week, and、um, that was probably like 1998 till like 2000, and then become Edwin. He improved himself, and he was, you know, where he's on time all, you know, after school, and he become and he start doing a stock job, a stock boy as、uh, one of the store employees after school, you know, as a part time, and. We gave him the opportunity and continuing, and I'm glad and I'm, you know, I'm proud of him, seeing him what he is right now, and the type of person he is. And、uh, what do you feel 
द सेम स्टॉक बॉय और द फ्लायर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर बिकेम लेटर ऑन अ पुलिस ऑफिसर एंड नाउ रनिंग फॉर द सिटी काउंसिल वट इज योर फीलिंग नाउ आई एम एक्सट्रीमली 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 हैप्पी आई एम ब्रॉड ऑफ हिम एंड आम यू नो आम I'm willing to do anything to back him up and to be and grow even more than what he is right now. So I remember first coming here at 12 years old. Uh, like I said, I was responsible um, for giving these out in the community, letting the people know what's on sale. And I would come here every Saturday, early in the morning, I would pack bags. Then we would go give out the, the flyers, and I would come out, pack bags again, all the way to night, and then go home. And this is this is what I did every weekend for two years. When I was 14, um, I was officially hired. as a part-time stock boy after work and uh, i had the, the the dairy aisle so so this was my this was my responsibility here so i had the eggs the yogurt all the way down to the butters the milks the juices so everything here aisle 4 was mine Uh, and I and I learned a little Arabic when I was here. So before it was Arbaha, they would always tell me, "That's my aisle." You know, I'd go downstairs, I'd bring the milk, uh, put the price tags, stack up the shelf. You know, the snacks over here and the frozen. These were my responsibilities, and um, I did that for two years. And what this did for me is, it not only provided me an opportunity to make an honest dollar. it kept me from making poor decisions because around this time this is when unfortunately a lot of my friends started joining gangs and picking up guns and doing robberies and committing serious crimes in Flatbush and throughout the Brooklyn area and one of the main reasons I never had to do that is cuz one I had a job so I can make honest money and two I didn't have time I was never there when they were making those decisions cuz I was always at work or focused on school and um this is why i would say this this you know being able to work here this opportunity really saved my life and after only 3 years of working here is when the terrorist attack occurred on uh September 11th and this is when islamophobia really started spreading throughout the nation and and really throughout the world and as people would have very negative things to say about muslims this was never my perception you know the the way i always saw it was Muslim people gave me an opportunity that 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 grew into everything that I'm that I am now. This taught me honesty, integrity, and hard work at a very young age and I and I I've been able to take those characteristics into my adult life and today I'm running for city council to keep the momentum going, continue to provide opportunities for others and really just do what I have to do for this community that has done so much for me. So, as a teenager, even while working here, I did start having a lot of negative encounters with the police um and this bothered me because I know I wasn't involved in crime as I just said I was working so after a few years of going through this I decided to join the police department I became a police officer at 22 years old uh after joining the police force I saw a lot of negative uh policies negative practices many illegal things also like a quota system where every month police officers were giving illegal quotas on the amount of people they have to give tickets to the amount of people they have to stop and frisk and the amount of people that they have to arrest and i didn't agree with this you know i, I it it was very problematic at the same time this is when the NYPD was illegally spying on muslim americans and different muslim groups so um i i studied hard i rose to the sergeant and right before that i exposed the discrimination in the police department uh because we want people to be safe We want to achieve public safety, but we didn't we never want to violate people's rights to do so. So, after exposing the police department, I became an activist for police reform. Um I then got promoted again to lieutenant and people kept asking me for 5 years to run for city council. At first, I didn't want to. I figured in the department I'll be able to make essential changes, etc. But as time went on, as I spoke to different uh friends and supporters, uh such as Jumani Williams who's been supporting me for years um I realized that I do want to represent the people from City Hall. I've been fighting for this community. I love this community and it wasn't an easy decision, but it's the best decision because I'll be able to accomplish what I'm doing in 
in changing policing for the better, but simultaneously I'll also be able to do other things that this community needs. As someone who was born and raised here, loves this place, I've never left, uh, I'm ready to represent us from City Hall. Well, one of the things that I want to do is create more opportunities uh, like the one that I was given. So we have the Summer Youth Employment Program, which is great, and uh, a certain amount of the budget is uh, set aside for that program. What I want to do is go further by giving tax incentives to businesses like this to hire young people in the community in the summer months. So maybe six or seven weeks in the summer, uh, give businesses opportunity. If they can hire maybe two people, ages 14 to 20, uh, we give them a tax incentive, and that way more young folks can get these opportunities that I got. Because once the summer youth employment dollars are finished, once we've hired the, at the capacity, unfortunately there are no more positions left, but there are a lot more job opportunities that still exist, and this is how I plan to expand on that so we can have more success stories and more young folks you know, having that positive influence so they can be the productive members of society we need them to be when they become adults. So, just two more weeks till election. I've been campaigning for months, meeting people, hearing their concerns, and ultimately what a vote for me means is a vote for someone with integrity, someone who's rooted in this community, someone who understands the community's concerns. You know, my parents came from Haiti my mother died at 35 years old. She, never, she didn't have a chance. My father never really got to live the American dream. They continue, through me, they, they, their, you know, their sacrifice is not in vain, but I want to get into a position where I can help other folks reach that dream. This is Edwin Raymond's story. He was in New York City in the 22nd of the city. He was going to be a democratic primary election. Who will be in this election? Who will be in this election? फैसला वोटर्स करेंगे और बिलखसूस इस कौंसल डिस्ट्रिक्ट में पाकिस्तानी अमेरिकन वोटर्स जो एक बड़ी तादाद में बसते हैं उनका भी फैसला साजी में एक कलीदी करदार होगा मुझे इजाज़त दें मोहसिन जहीर न्यूयॉर्क